Words scar, rumors destroy, bullies kill. Good day, everyone. I would like to take this opportunity to give a speech about bully. From the term itself, what comes to mind when you try to visualize bully? Well, let me ask you. Have you ever felt being stepped on? Have you ever felt not included and deeply insecure? Have you ever felt really scared with your knees trembling whenever going to school, oblivious to what would come around the corner? Have you ever felt not being helped by someone you thought you're closest to? Have you ever felt how everyone just think of you as someone disgusting to the extent that they would resort to that kind of terrifying move? You might think that there are no bullies in any place of this country, but there is. Bullying is a worldwide problem and can be defined as being characterized by intentionally aggressive behavior that creates major problems to our society. Between one and three and one and four, kids say that they have been bullied in school and over 3.2 million students experience some form of bullying each year. Bullying is a person who feels more dominant over someone they see as weaker than them, not just weaker physically, but also mentally. Bullying is making someone feel bad about who they are by means of hurting them because they are different. Can be on the internet, after school on your walk home, on the bus or jeepney, the workplace, by neighbors, maybe even in your own household. Whatever the reason why the bully chooses to bully for, someone could be bullied because they are different. They might not seem like they are hurting, but inside they could be. Bullying is disregarding or breaks almost someone's every human right throwing them out and making them feel less of a person. Bullying is everywhere. It has causes, effects, and fortunately, solutions. Bullies have a lot of reasons they choose to pick on others. A huge assortment of causes that impact individuals into becoming bullies. They could possibly be bullying because of peer pressure from friends. Lots of bullies have been bullied in the past and now are seeking revenge because they want to show others how it feels. Poor self-esteem on the same page causes the bully to think that by putting another person down, they could improve their reputation and it would make them feel better, wherein jealousy comes in as another form of bullying. They may see it as a way to get attention or to make people afraid of them. Another reason why people menace is having issues at home that may have caused them to vent out all of the emotions at the person they are bullying. Some bullies fail to comprehend how damaging their behavior is and how it can have many severe effects on the person being bullied. Stress is one of the effects bullies have on their victims. They can suffer from depression as well if they continue to feel upset about seeming helpless and not being able to fight back. In some cases, it can't be so crushing. It really hurts people. It breaks them down that causes reactions of sadness and anxiety. People who have been bullied are more likely to commit suicide or harm to themselves because they can no longer cope with being oppressed every single day. Imagine a world where the words you speak appear on your skin. Would you be more careful of what you say? Bullying is a terrible thing that diminishes people's human rights and hurts them so much in the end. Bullying is an absurd thing that people need to stop doing. It is awful, hurtful, and makes no absolute sense. That being said, there's so many ways and things we can do to stop bullying. But everyone works differently and use different methods to effectively change the situation dynamic. However, the most we can do is be kind to one another. Empathy can be a good first response as well, 
by taking time to not only think of your own perspective, but that of other people involved. By doing so, you can create better responses of their actions. Because the more perspective you can obtain, the more it leads to a pleasant outcome. Although bullying can never utterly eradicate it, but by expanding and raising awareness of the problem, make the schools and every spot of this world a secure and fresh, enjoyable environment in which all ages could have a smile on their faces. That's all. Thank you.